Uh, hi, this is James O'Keefe, captain of the Massachusetts Pirate Party, and I'm joined in this member meeting with... Uh, Steve Rebelock, first mate. Good evening, Jamie. Good evening, Steve. Uh, unfortunately, Joe has uh, other responsibilities and will not be able to make it. Um, so, uh, in terms of the, the the agenda is presented here, um, anything to add? Uh, nothing here. Okay, great. So, um, for reports, I, I've unfortunately I have nothing to report. It's been uh, exceedingly busy with work and family. So, uh, aside from you know some notifications here and there and uh somerville had a hearing on uh whether to um <clears throat> whether to approve uh surveillance uh projects that the somerville police department had decided to, they needed including soft hardware and software to plug someone's phone into so they can scrape it and uh putting up a surveillance a alpr uh in front of the bus stop in davis square somerville so that if someone stops there when they shouldn't shouldn't they can get ticketed uh so unfortunately both of those passed and i wasn't able to appear at the meeting uh, our friends at digital fourth had some good things to say but did not carry the day um so do you have anything to report steve so yes uh so a lot of my time in the last eight months has gone towards uh multifamily zoning in arlington and i'm happy to report that last week town meeting adopted the measure by a vote of 189 to 35. congratulations so when so now that's approved the what's so, the we there are two approval steps uh the first because we are a town anytime that we change our bylaws the attorney general's um i don't remember which division of the attorney general's office it is but basically the attorney general office has to go through your you know your bylaw changes and make sure they're um you know they're things that you can do they're not exceeding your uh, powers in municipality they're not conflicting with state law uh, it's kind of like a pre-approval process that city uh, communities with a city form of government do not need to go through the other uh, sort of approval step is that um, the executive office of housing and livable communities kind of has uh, standards for these multifamily districts and they also have to review our changes to uh, verify that they comply but you know we've kind of kept an eye on the rule on you know the the criterion for you know since the beginning of the process process and I, I think we'll we'll do okay there but uh, typically turnaround process turn so hopefully it should be firmly in place by you know, early, uh, early next year. Excellent. Um, nice to see it passed so overwhelmingly. Um, so <clears throat> in terms of decisions, endorsements, um, uh, are kind of late. Well, hopefully we're late to this. <laughs> Cause I have a feeling it's going to last potentially a lot longer, but, uh, folks may have noticed, uh that there's a conflict between well let's just say israel got attacked by hamas and uh israel is in the process of leveling uh optimistically leveling gaza uh, less optimistically committing genocide so anyways um uh, yeah, that, that's my particular pr perspective. So we put together an etherpad uh, here um, 
to come up with a statement because, as I said, you know, we, we haven't. And it would be good since, you know, genocide is bad. <clears throat> um, and we took, you know, the last time there was an invasion. Well, not the last time because this Nagorno-Karabakh, but the sovereign country got invaded. Uh, actually, Gaza isn't even yet a sovereign country. Sorry. Anyways, learn it this way. The U.S. is providing bombs. So we're parties to this. We can have some influence as to whether more people die. Um, so I put together an ether pad. I've been mulling over this for the past week. And um, it is not by no means complete. Uh, but... Well, you're off to a good start, though. Yeah, thank you. Um, I guess, you know, um, what else should we add? Well, should we do this, I should say? Yeah, I... I mean, uh, I, I kind of ha don't have... The only strong feeling I have is that it's a very unfortunate situation. Um, sure. I, I do wish, um, you know, humanitarian aid was allowed to get through. Um, but aside from that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I... <sighs> and that civilians were allowed to get out. Yeah, that's the other part. Sorry, what? And that civilians would be allowed to get out. Well, but the, the, the problem, and, and this is, I think, Egypt's perspective is if they do that, then suddenly there's two million people sitting in the Sinai that Egypt is now responsible for. And mm -hmm. in essence, you know, Israel could be like, okay, we have killed everyone who is in Hamas and a lot of other people who aren't. And anyone else has moved, so this is our land now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's just, that's, that is a possibility, and there are certainly apparently members of the Israeli government or people connected to the Israeli government who are expressing those self-same viewpoints. <laughs> no. um, so that's wrong, you know. The ethnic, the the what happened to ethnic cleansing slash genocide that happened in Nagorno Karabakh. Uh, however much that region is has a very complex history, starting in the eighties and nineties. Um, <clears throat> that I won't get into, but um, still wrong when people are forced out of their homes. Whether in, you know, Rwanda or Ukraine or Gaza or Nagorno-Karabakh or Cambodia or, you know, name it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's our bombs that are landing. So that's why I thought it probably makes sense for us to say something. Um, what should we add? Sorry, go on. You, you... Uh, I was going to say I don't have anything to suggest uh, right this moment. Okay. Uh... Yeah, and unfortunately I've got a cold, so I'm not firing on all cylinders at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, do we want to take this to the email list and try over the weekend to finish it up? Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Um, then for folks who want to participate, you can, uh, edit this document. It'll be in the meeting notes. Uh, it has versioning. Yay. So you can go back and look at that. Joys of Etherpad. Um, and, uh, if you want to be more active in the discussion, uh, you can join our activist mailing list. So. With that, um, so U.S. Pirate Party, um, as a Joe, Joe's busy, so, um, 
I believe both, neither of our representatives, unfortunately, can make the upcoming U.S. Power Party meeting. So unlikely I will, uh, since it's IRC, so easy, I will go and, and attend that. Um, we have the Boston Anarchist Book Fair coming up next weekend. Um, the... Uh, we, we have a table, um, and, uh, we'll update this and, and any, where this video is posted and the description and on the yeah. blog with the sign up form, if you'd like to help. Yeah. The one, uh, the one thing that's a little, uh, challenging I, I see is that the, they, you know, the, the anarchy, they give the location. Uh, is the Cambridge Community Center, and where is the Cambridge Community Center? Ah, there we have. We have an address. Okay, very good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways. Um, so I know I will be there. Some friends of ours from... Uh, uh, warrantless.org, uh, Digital Fourth will be joining us at said table. We'll have literature. Um, folks are welcome to come by and, uh, you know, stay an hour. And, uh, yeah, know, I will be there as well. So, people. sorry, go on. I will be there as well. Excellent. Um, so in terms of local outreach, nothing to update. Um, and in terms of video letter, uh, newsletter, podcast, uh, does Sunday work? Sunday works. Right. Well, That's we do have the Anarchist Book Fair that day. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be, that would be a lot. So, yeah, yeah that's fine. Why don't we do it the following Sunday? Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, no, no, I mean, this Sunday. This oh, this, this this Sunday, yes, but next next Sunday, maybe uh, maybe not. Maybe yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, so we'll be we'll go live at seven thirty uh, this Sunday, and it's been a couple weeks. And um, yeah, I've I've got the video from the conference. I need to go and and upload that. The audio is from my uh, microphone, so. Hopefully that worked. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I, I, I was I was happy. I managed to get like a camera directed that appeared on the screen simultaneously with what was being presented within Big Blue Button. So you know, it all kind of worked. Ah, excellent. Anyways, now if we could just get it, you know, live streaming somewhere, that would be even better. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, people, every, people could come in person, and, and, uh, either in person or virtually. And just as a reminder, our next winter conference, uh, we're going to put up a poll, and it'll be online since, you know, it's cold. <laughs> and, you know, more viruses seem to be around in the winter. Uh, doing our part to uh, eradicate flu and, and COVID and other uh, other uh, uh, viruses out there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's that's all. I don't have an update for the national party for what they've done. All right, um, but that's it. And we'll we'll get in. Uh, there'll be an email an email newsletter that'll come out uh, hopefully tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right, then I shall stop the recording. Thank you, anyone who's watching this. You can, of course, come every second, every other Thursday, roughly. Um, you can check, uh, you know, if there's a meeting page listed on our wiki, then there's a meeting. So otherwise, we upload these usually the next day. So, all right, thank you, Steve. Hope you have a pleasant evening. Talk with you Sunday. Thank you, Jamie. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.